Hello, everybody. It's Sophia Mona Lisa from the Golden Ray Center and the Roseville Mystery School. And I'm super excited to introduce my most recent video journal uh, to you on the new moon in Leo, uh, which was conjunct Venus. It was also conjunct Lilith and how Thecla, this uh, manifestation of the divine feminine, uh, is represented by not only this new moon in Leo, but also uh, by Venus rising as morning star as the Leo goddess. She's definitely a Leo goddess, as you can see by this image of her here with, with the lion. She's known as the prophetess, prophetess of true power. And I talk about her and how she relates to these aspects uh, in, in the full video journal. Uh, there are some really super big aspects going on in the sky with this new moon in Leo that took place on August 16th, which happened to be smack dab in the middle of our one week uh, immersive breath retreat, which was called uh, Divine Conscious, excuse me, Conscious Relationship with the Leo Divine Royalty Goddess. Uh, that included the metamorphic seed point on the 13th, which was a Sunday, and then the full week following, Monday through Friday, uh, where we did a lot of work in that metamorphic underworld. And then on Saturday, we did our closing circle, which was the day that uh, Venus rose as morning star in Leo. So a lot of super incredible synchronicities that came up around Thecla and the Leo goddess, and, and particularly this, this new moon event right smack dab in the middle of that week. So we do know, of course, that the new moon was conjunct the Venus retrograde. It was also conjunct Le uh, Lilith. We do know that the new moon was square Uranus at 23 degrees of Taurus the day before, uh, the new moon and the, uh, the moon and the sun came together. The sun squared Uranus. I, I talk about uh, the significance of that event, uh, particularly with respect to being in that metamorphic underworld where you can have, a you know, shadow aspects of yourself being activated, be, uh, being brought into your awareness. Will you or won't you allow those pieces of yourself to come back into wholeness with yourself. So I talk a lot about that. Um, I introduce uh, Thecla further to you. She is, um, this card in particular, I'll just show you here, is a part of this divine feminine oracle uh, put together by Megan Watterson. This is uh, in part what Megan writes about Thecla. Uh, there's divine will within each of us course we know that divine will is the christ it's will that is aligned with the soul's purpose we remember what true power is when we divest all outside authority of the power we have been giving them so this is really important in terms of this new moon in leo taking back spiritual authority over our awakening divine heart uh, Thekla reminds us that we do not need permission to be who we are. We have all the power right now within us and that that is the source of fire itself, the divine will to call back our spiritual authority and claim this life as our soul's own. So I talk about how this part of what Megan Watterson shares around Thekla is relevant to what's going on in the sky with the new moon in Leo. And of course, Leo uh, as a fire elemental sign. I love that she says that's the source of fire itself. Once again, referencing the fact that she, Thecla is definitely a Leo goddess uh, in addition to Sekhmet, whom I uh, made reference to in my last video journal on the metamorphic seed point. So we also have this super rare event happening in the sky on the same day as the new moon. It's called a kite aspect. Uh, it involves a grand earth trine. 
And of course, not everybody would see this kite aspect because they may not necessarily be working with the same luminary bodies that I work with. And because I work with Isis as a representative of the cosmic Sophia, this kite aspect just jumped out at me in terms of how it is working to help transcend us in terms of our evolution to become a new spiritual master, to have gifts that are available to us that that the average person that's still stuck in the duality of this 3D reality are not even going to be able to comprehend. It will look like uh, people that are evolving through the work that we're doing at the Galactic New Earth Project in terms of bringing the 12 strands of DNA online um, and, and the spiritual gifts that they now have access to uh, that have been given back to them with those activations coming online, it's going to look like they're performing miracles. And so that's all being spoken to in this kite aspect, which is uh, really significant because then the kite aspect in the new moon also blended together, give us a, um, oh, before I get into that, I want to talk about <laughs> the spiritual mastery point, you know, the gifts far beyond what most are able to comprehend. You got to get this kite up off the ground, right? You need air to get the kite up off the ground. It's one thing to have the kite, but you got to do the work to get it up off the ground. And I talk about that as well. Anyhow, together, the new moon gives us a loose yod aspect. And of course, you know, from previous journals that I've done that that yod is about you know, Il Destino, that this is intended to happen now, come hell or high water, nothing can stop it. And what's absolutely beautiful is that this yod is built into some of the aspects of the kite um, and that the new moon itself is at the apex of the yod. So I show uh, that in terms of an overlay so that you can see it and uh you know, it all comes back to the fact that we have got this awakening, awakened divine heart that is happening for humanity right now through all of the calibrations that were done through the Capricorn goddess journey. And now as we step onto this Leo divine royalty goddess journey, uh, getting into deeper and deeper connection with our awakened divine heart coming into deeper and deeper partnership and relationship uh, and communion with our awakened divine heart. So all of that I discuss in the full journal. I hope that you will come over to Patreon. Uh, this particular vlog is available at the tier one membership uh, level for $11 a month. Uh, got a lot coming up still this month of August because I'm playing catch up from having taken that one week uh, for that immersive breath retreat. So I've got a bunch of videos still that I'm going to be putting up for August. And I would love for you to come over and see them in their entirety. So until my next time, I want to thank you very much for watching this brief introduction. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye.